Good evening. My name is Dr. Brian Despinas. I'm a local pediatrician and a man of God. I'm here to share some facts with you about the coronavirus and to encourage you, I hope, so you're not dismayed by this. Uh, we may be tempted to feel anxious by the news reports that we're hearing about the virus, how it spread. We're sharing uh, that same concern, but we encourage you to approach the situation both spiritually and practically. Uh, as the Apostle Paul implored the Church of Philippi, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. That's Philippians 4, 6. When we do this, the Bible says, peace will guard, God's peace will guard both our hearts and our minds. So remember, prayer is powerful and effective. And that's James 5, 16. Um, we should pay attention to what our health officials are saying, okay? Not the politicians, not the pundits, but our experts. I am not an infectious disease expert, nor am I an epidemiologist, but I am on the front lines caring for people daily, and I keep up with this in a critical care uh, aspect. So, um, the prudent see danger and take refuge, but the simple keep going and pay the penalty. That's Proverbs 27:12. So, uh, the coronavirus, a little bit about it, guys. It's a highly diverse group of uh, single-stranded RNA viruses. Uh, that can affect the diseases, uh, can be anywhere involving lungs, liver, uh, intestines, brain, uh, and the severity uh, varies with the, the infection and the type of virus. It can affect humans as well as animals, and that's how we think this thing has been transferred. Um, this type of coronavirus is called SARS-CoV-2 or COVID-19, and you'll hear that term a lot. That's the one that's in humans. Um, the problem with COVID is the body's response to it. So we have an immune system that uh, has certain cells in it that are in charge, our white blood cells, of fighting infection. There are other proteins and cells that will send certain chemical signals to say we need an inflammatory response. The problem with, co with COVID-19 is there is too much of this response. There's a huge inflammatory response called a cytokine explosion or a cytokine storm. And when this occurs, Fluid builds up in the lungs and is way too difficult for the body to handle the overload of fluid, and that's where the difficulty becomes. Um, the symptoms that you may experience are fever, dry cough, um, loss of taste and smell, also a rash uh, on the feet and hands. Sometimes on both toes and, and uh, fingers are affected. Um, these symptoms may occur and appear three to seven days after exposure, okay? And uh, they may progress rapidly. So we're asking you if you're sick to please call your doctor. Do not venture out to the emergency rooms. Try not to go to our urgent cares unless it's a dire emergency. Uh, otherwise, contact your physician. If you don't have a physician, please contact the church. We can get you a list of physicians that would care for you uh, in any manner. Um, uh, the advent of telehealth has been incredible for us because we're able to see you and, and do some minor examinations, but we're able to get histories and physicals to know what we need to do. So I need you to be, pay particular attention to that. So in addition to uh, other symptoms caused by COVID, we worry that some, of it, some in our congregation have uh, comorbidities or other health problems. Um, those health challenges can put you at extensive risk. Anyone with diabetes, hypertension or high blood pressure, heart conditions, um, cancer survivors, and anyone with an immune response issue. If your immune response is not appropriate or depressed, then you could have a, a, a really grave issue with this uh, COVID virus. So we ask that the same precautions be taken for children at risk. Uh, anyone with a low immune system, uh, severe combined immune, sickle cell, asthma, uh, anybody with those issues that are serious, we, we ask you to please be diligent uh, about watching symptoms, watching for progression of symptoms, and contacting your local medical professional. Um, please do not uh, go onto the internet and listen to the pundits that are there. There are a lot of people claiming they are doctors. They're not. They're not specialists, and they're not even physicians, medically trained. So just be careful where you get your information, uh, but contact your local physicians. Um, we have uh, a duty to not only care for ourselves and our local family, but our church family and the world globally. So. We, we should let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also of the interests of others. And that's Philippians 2.4. Um, so we were going to put the CDC uh, website at the bottom if you guys need it. Um, it's cdc.gov. 
Um, but I want you to follow the Centers for Disease Controls and Prevention's guidelines to prevent the spread of germs, uh, such as washing your hands for 20 seconds diligently, okay, with soap and water, or using hand sanitizer that is at least 60% alcohol, okay? Very, very important. Uh, try to refrain touching your face. No eyes, ears, nose. Keep your hands out of your face. Those are the entry points for contagion. That's how the virus is introduced to our body. Um, also, try to cover your mouth when you cough, you sneeze. The preferred method is to cough into your elbow, but anything that you can cover is fine. But think about it. If you cover with your hands, as soon as you're done, go wash your hands because you will spread by contact. Um, we also know from recent studies that uh, a significant portion of individuals with the coronavirus are asymptomatic, which means they have no symptoms, they don't know they have it. So chances are we've all encountered people who have have been positive but don't know they're positive. Uh, so it's important uh, to, to distinguish those asymptomatic people and to treat everyone like they've been exposed. Um, the latest recommendations uh, with this new evidence is wearing face masks. Um, and I'd like you to not get a, get a uh, the, the ones that are meant for the healthcare workers, but a, a cloth face mask is fine. There are plenty of YouTube videos that will also show you how to manufacture a mask with a great air conditioned filter above 1500 that will do fantastically for you. So um, keep in mind that we are looking out for our fellow man and, and woman. Social distancing, I know we, we hear that term, but I don't think everyone understands what it means. Social distancing does not mean go hang out and let your best friends come over and we stay six feet apart. If they don't live in your home, you stay away from them. That is social distancing. That's part of it. The other part is staying six feet away when you do have to go out in, into uh, and venture out to the grocery or, or uh, doctor's appointments, things like that. If, it, if it's not necessary for you to go, I would implore you to stay home. Uh, and I know everybody's hot to get out as soon as this is over, but I, I have... Um, news and, and I think the way this is developing this is not over okay they're, they're trying to open up businesses for the greed of money and and that is not a good thing guys so we need to stay home uh, somebody told me today Noah did not get off the ark until the land was dry so we're not going to jump into the water and try to start swimming when when it's not safe so if you are at risk no matter what your government officials tell you if you feel like you're at risk and you want to take all these precautions I would absolutely implore you to do so um, and, and last but not least, I would just say be encouraged. I know this is a scary time. We are seeing lots of things. Try not to watch the news daily um, or just once a day. Don't watch it all day long. Um, get you information that you need and then talk with people, okay? Um, God is with us, okay? He is with us. So put your trust in God and do not give way to fear. When I'm afraid, I put my trust in you, in God, whose word I praise, in God I trust, and I'm not afraid. And that is Psalm 56, 3 and 4. Um, thank you for allowing me to come into your homes and share this information with you. Um, this is developing rapidly, so this is April 21st. If there's any more information for going forth, we'll make another video to uh, alert you guys, okay? But we appreciate you, and God loves you.